Hello and welcome to Tech Deals. This is a beast of a monitor. Are you looking for a large monitor, 1440p, 144 hertz, sub one millisecond response time, FreeSync and G-Sync support for under $500? You've come to the right place. I love this monitor. It has a ton of features and a ton of abilities. Samsung panel, VA, 178 degree viewing angle, 1800R curved display. It even has RGB on the back. It's really a very nice gaming monitor. On the day I recorded this video, $429. Link in the video description below to Amazon and Newegg for this monitor. This is my new favorite gaming monitor. It really is a lot for the money. Over the past few days, I've been playing games on this, plugging it into my test bench and my recent Ryzen 5 2600X build. You can see here the Gaming X GTX 1660 Ti that's in that build and it's what's running this monitor right now. DisplayPort supports G-Sync via FreeSync. It does work with the latest driver, so that's what it's running off of right now. You can see Forza Horizon 4. I've played GTA 5, Overwatch, League of Legends, World of Warships, of course, and it really is impressive. For gaming, this is a nice value for the money. The viewing angle is very nice when you're in front of it with the curve. It sort of wraps around you and provides you a very immersive experience. It's large, 32 inches larger than some people might want, but once you've had something like this in front of you, it sort of provides you with that big picture view. It's like having a 70 inch television on the room across the wall, it's just a few feet in front of you and then it provides you a sort of an all around view. It's really, really nice. Most of the monitors that I've reviewed on my channel in the past have been what's called IPS or in-plane switching technology. It's the actual technology of the LCD panel. I have covered VA and TN panels in the past and really had nothing good to say about them. Back in 2016, I did an IPS versus TN panel comparison and frankly, TN panels are ugly. VA is kind of in the middle. This is the best VA panel that I've ever seen bar none. They've really improved the color and viewing angles on this. I didn't think I was gonna like one, but for gaming, this is really nice. 122% sRGB color accuracy. That's better than most of my IPS panels. That's amazing. It has 92% of DCI P3, the new color standard, color accuracy. That's incredible. That is really, really good color. So if you have any concerns about this being a VA panel, let me put it to rest from somebody who is a huge fan of IPS panels. For gaming, this is great. Absolutely recommend for gaming 100%. No worries about the color. For display inputs, there are a bunch on the back two HDMI 2.0 ports. So if you also wanna use this for your Xbox One X or your PlayStation Pro or other uh, high-end game console, you certainly can. And of course, it also has the display port on the back for the FreeSync or G-Sync support. It has a USB 2 hub on the back. It comes with the cable in the box, as well as two additional USB ports on the back for expansion, as well as headphone out. If you just want to plug headphones in, you do have the option of running your audio through this and then just plugging your headphones into the back. In addition to the USB cable, it also comes with one HDMI and one DisplayPort cable, which is really nice. And I'm using the DisplayPort cable that it came with. Works like a champ. The stand itself is very nice. I really like this stand. Now, the base itself is a standard three-point stand with the two arms coming up, but that leaves a lot of space in the front available. There's a cable management hole on the bottom. It doesn't turn left or right. It doesn't have a swivel, but what would you need a swivel for on a curved monitor? You're always gonna be directly in front of it, but it does go up and down and it does tilt forward and back. It's not the smoothest mechanism in the world. It kind of takes two hands but it does go pretty far down and it comes pretty far up, giving you a lot of options in terms of angle. And then also you can tilt it uh, about, oh, five or so degrees forward and then about 15 degrees back. In fact, as I go back, you can see light reflections in the filming room. I'll put it back there. There we go. I mentioned before that the color accuracy and the viewing angle were spectacular. This is a genuine Samsung display that MSI is using and that's probably why it's very nice. They make very good displays. In addition to that, the on-screen display is one of the best I've also used. I know that sounds a bit glowing, but it legitimately is. The menu functions, the readability, the customization options are very, very nice. It is very easy to use. 
The power button is here on the bottom of the monitor, but there is a five-way joystick on the back. You can push it in, up, left, right, down. You can set up quick keys with that, and it's also far enough out that it gives you good control. It's not some small little knob, so that's very easy to use on the back. There is also an app you can download and run on your PC to control the monitor, and you can even control it from your cell phone. Yes, there is an app to control this monitor from your phone if you want to. So that's all my glowing praise and wonderful admiration for this monitor. I legitimately straight up like it for gaming. I think it is one of the nicest gaming monitors that I've ever used, but that's gaming. Let's talk about what I don't like about this monitor because this is a review. It's not just glowing praise just because MSI sent this to me. Thank you, MSI, I appreciate it. There are some things I legitimately don't like about this monitor. The text sharpness in Windows on a 32-inch monitor at 1440p at normal viewing distances isn't spectacular. It's not terrible, but think in terms of a 27-inch 1080p monitor in terms of how grainy the text is in Windows. My normal desktop monitors are 32-inch 4K monitors, so I'm used to sharper text than this. Now, if you're not, if you're used to a 1080p 27-inch, this won't bother you. But if you're used to a 1440p 27 inch, this will be grainier than that. It doesn't really matter in games, but in Windows for like content creation, art design, document work, if you primarily work in Windows with text and gaming is a secondary thing, be aware of this, is that the resolution, the dot pitch ratio of this monitor isn't ideal for Windows. I'd like to see 4K at this resolution. But it's worth noting that for gaming, 4K is very, very hard to drive and very expensive. You can certainly get those, but that requires like all the computer power. 1440p is a much nicer compromise. Speaking of that, in most games, Overwatch is a really good example. This graphics card had no problem playing at 144 hertz on this monitor, even at 1440p. Other games, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, not a chance in the world. You'd need all the computer power. So when I say that that's a compromise resolution and it works well, it depends upon the game that you're playing. If you only want 60 frames per second in your AAA games and 144 frames per second in your eSports games, that's great. But if you want 144 frames per second in everything, you'll need a pretty expensive computer to do it. But in terms of compromises, I already mentioned the price, it's $429. That goes really well with a $900 to a $1,200 computer. You can keep this for years and years and years, and that's a really nice match. Overall, I think it's a great value for the money. I realize that my negative list might seem kind of short to some of you. Frankly, it is one item. It's the fact that the text clarity and sharpness in Windows is not ideal at this size. Now, if that's a concern of yours, that's actually a serious concern. You'd probably want the 27-inch version of this rather than the 32-inch version. It isn't much less expensive, but the text will be sharper because it's a smaller screen. Putting that single issue aside, I legitimately love this monitor. In terms of gaming performance, no lag, extremely fast response time on the game, right? Especially playing games like Overwatch. This thing is a beast. Be sure to check out the links down in the video description below. As I said, I'll be linking to this to Amazon and Newegg. Check it out to see who has it for sale for less. I absolutely recommend this monitor for gaming 100% without reservation. If you've got the $430-ish that it costs at the moment, this has a lot going for it. It's a lot less expensive than the $1,000 ultra-wides, and it's a much better monitor than the $200 options on offer. I think it's a really, really good middle choice. Not great for content creation, not great for pure Windows use, but this is a beast of a gaming monitor. Like this video if you like it, share it with your friends if you love it. Remember to subscribe to my channel with that big, huge red button directly below. Questions, comments, thoughts, feedback, suggestions, that's what the comment section is for. As I already mentioned, links in the video description. Further down in the video description, you'll find my Twitch, Twitter, and Discord links. We've got a variety of stuff down there. I post regular deals. Be sure to follow there. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you next time.